sometimes you might have a list of usernames that you downloaded from somewhere or a similar scenario. That's what we're using for our example. And once you get it into Excel, it looks like a sort of jumbled mess here. So you're not able to easily assign a unique auto incrementing ID. Now in this case, you probably could because there's only 14 people, but imagine if there were thousands. Um, so I'm going to show you how to sort them and then write an if statement to auto increment an ID based on a change in the username. So to sort, first thing you want to do is click here on the header of this column and click on sort and you want to make sure that my data has headers is checked and choose a column to sort by and click OK. Now you can see it sorted my list by alphabetical order and all of the duplicates are next to each other. So now we can assign our auto incrementing ID. So the only one that you manually need to type in is the first one. So we'll type Bob as ID 1. And the idea is to auto increment the rest of them for each person. So Dave is going to be 2, Janet is going to be 3, so all of these will be 3. Jeff is going to be 4, so from here to here you should see 4, 5, and 6. So let's see if I'm right. I'll write the if statement here, starting with the ID we need for Dave. So to start an if statement, you type equals if and open parentheses. So we need to test difference in username. So if the username stays the same, then the ID stays the same. If not, then you need to take the ID of the previous username and add one to it. So in this case, if Dave, or if this value is equal to the username before it, then it'll be the ID before it. If not, then the ID before it plus one, and close parentheses. And if you click out of there, and you'll see that's correct. It's one for Bob, two for Dave. And now for the rest of these, we don't have to type that if statement in every single time. If we copy control C and highlight the rest of these and then control V to paste, Excel is smart enough to know that all of the Janets are going to be three, all the Jeffs are going to be four, and so on. So if you look here, it's smart enough to know that you mean if B4 is equal to B3 then A3, if not A3 plus 1. And same here, if B5 is equal to B4, B6 is equal to B5. So that's the nice thing about Excel, it's smart enough when you copy these if statements down here that it fills in the proper columns.